knowledge of this, God's way, stems from the forbidden magic research laboratory, which can be found here in Batal. However, you would do well to first travel to the Alta Batal coast, and for as a researcher of this laboratory, he will doubtless be able to answer. <laughs> Who are you? Uh, no, n never mind, it is of little import. I'm searching for blue crystal shards. Find any, and I'll pay you handsomely. The bigger they are... Let me get that. Have you found any blue crystal shards? Is that all? Tiny fragments such as these aren't nearly good enough. Still, I expect I'll find a use for them here. Take... Tis a god's sway. Well, to be precise, the crystalline... By refining such crystals, anyone can attain the power of the Arisen. However, small fragments are meaningless. They cannot contend with the Arisen. Speaking of which, should you find any large fragments, Bring them to me, won't you? Though that might be difficult, we've scoured this area quite thoroughly. It is possible larger shards may have been mistaken for jewels and carried off by scavengers or collectors. Mayhap one such as the Oracle or the Dragonforged would be able to aid you in locating them. I can tell you now. The Arisen comes. Is this meeting also by the- You may be pitted against the dragon. Yet its fate is yours to share. The Godswain. Forgive. However, some years past, a sorcerer of Batal came to me seeking. It appeared his intent was to alter the will of the world through mortal means. Perhaps there is some connection. The substance of which ye speak. His worm's life crystals can be... They retain a measure of draconic power. And when used correctly, will bestow upon you... Then go. Since times of eld... Remember. Draconic blood flows through... Then I bid ye farewell. I know precisely when a curative is needed, Master. You'll never fall in battle. I knew you would come. You seek answers, and you shall have them, if tis within my power to know them. Loath as I am to admit it, I know little of the artifact. I sense a land soaked in warmth. A warmth, yet it now lies many fathoms below the surface of the sea, in a place, though it is strange. For I sense also, it would seem a path will be open to you in time, allowing you to venture into the heart of the... Perhaps he who was Dragonforged can tell you more. Seek him out in Har Village, if you would like. Perhaps this will seem of little consequence, but I long to make things right after what transpired at the coronation. About time you came along. I have a special tale to share with you. Or so I'd like to say, but it is getting rather late. Best. Ah, good. You're awake. Look to the sea, my friend. 
Hard to resist setting out in one's boat with me. I've told you about the sunken temple in the middle of the sea, haven't I? I am quite sure I mentioned it, but I ne'er spoke of the man who resides there. He was such a worthy ruler in life that his army is safe as he himself would have it. He was once entrusted with the task of watching over this world from the heavens above. Yet he tired of his duty and abandoned his perch in the sky in favor of founding a small king. Alas, though he was a just and goodly ruler, there is not a single pearl. It sounds unfortunate, but if you ask me, it is all a matter of perspective. It can be a blessing to forget. And I should know. In all my long years, I've never forgotten a single thing. I remember every... Would that I could forget some of it. <laughs> a lie it may seem, but a lie it is not. I speak only the truth. Come see me again, if it pleases you. <laughs> I've tales aplenty to share. Heavens, friend. I've never seen the like. I'd not known there were ruins in the depths of this cavern till the path appeared. It was magic. I should have liked to investigate if the place hadn't been crawling with monsters. I'll be needing sturdier arms than this. At any rate, I'd best report this discovery to my commander. I only pray naught. Yon structure yet lies on the water. It is strange to think that it slumbered beneath the surface all this time. Thank <laughs> you. 